Okay, should I even do an intro? I guess. Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here. Welcome to episode 12 of Let's Play Secret of Mana Blind. And I feel weird about this right now because it's actually in the middle of a recording and I'm saying that. Because I have an inkling to cliffhang you at that last part. I don't know if I will or not. This will be really confusing if I don't. But uh, yeah, so off screen I did a little bit of healing in between videos because um, because we obviously have a boss here. Good lord, I just got thrust right into this. It's hardly even... I don't even know. I guess I should have expected it, because it is a dungeon, but... Anyways, now that we're all healed up, um... I don't have any magic, so this might be a total fail fest, but... Oh my god! What the hell? What? Oh, I'm tangled. Oh, does that mean I move slow as ass, apparently? Let's see. Well, this is gonna be an interesting fight. Well, he can't move, at least. That's something. Cure Water level 3. Oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Hmm. Shoot, he's got a lot of magic, too. He's cast, like, four different spells now. What? Oh, I'm not going to be able to defend myself against this. I don't even have any magic of my own. Like I said, I use... I think I have, like, one Cure Water left in Sydney, and Edge doesn't have any MP at all, though. So... Alright, dude. Oh, and there's, like, three targets here, so I'm not even sure which one I'm supposed to be attacking. But at least, like I said, though, thank God he doesn't move around like the friggin' Spiky Tiger. That was just annoying. And you just, like, fly all across the screen. So I don't know if you're supposed to... I don't know, it seems like... It's, this kind of reminds me of X or something. Maybe you're just supposed to, like, take out the thing in the middle? Stop doing that Cure Water crap. He's just gonna he keep... If he keeps doing that, he's, I'm not be, gonna be able to beat him. He's just gonna keep peeling off over and over and over again. It's just gonna be so ridiculously unfair. Let's see here, though. I can't seem to get jack shit in for damage anyways. Uh, I think I might have to do that cure, yeah, that cure water pretty soon here. Yeah, I think I'm going to. Uh, let me see here. Yeah, here we go. Let's go for it. Oh, I got one eye like closed now. That's weird. Oh, magic, magic seal up. Sweet. <laughs> what a great timing. Revive a fire. No, we can bring them back to life. Oh shit. But it, it looked like he only brought it back with like 20 something HP there. So. Can I take this one out, too? I don't even... This is gonna be hell, man. I'll stop revivifying that thing. Yeah, see, 20... No, that, no, that was 21 damage there, I think. God, this is gonna be such a pain in the ass, I can already tell you. Look how dead I am already! Didn't I, like, just cast Cure Water? Man, I suck. Alright, I'm gonna have to use some of this healing stuff, then. Use that on me. And uh, Edge could do with some healing himself, so see about that. I'm just trying to keep a level head here. I know this is because, like, any other time I like go up against a boss, I like panic and I don't know what to do. Granted, I'm still trying to kind of figure out what I'm supposed to do here. I'm guessing I just have to hit the middle. I don't. I don't know. I might have to like. For all I I know, I have to like uh, freaking. Oh shoot! I'm dead. Yeah, but for all I know, I have to like wipe out both the eyes and make them both close at the same time in order to beat him or something but I don't think it doesn't seem like a kind of game that would require some kind of finicky solution like that what am I doing I have to go to this for my cups of wishes here we go mm, well why didn't that hit you man you're crazy no stop that okay I gotta switch characters then this seems like that kind of boss, like I might have to keep switching characters in order to maintain a steady stream of damage against them at all. And to maintain a steady stream of damage against them, I'm going to need to stop them from being a cure water too. Crap. Screw you, man. Oh, God. I wonder if this is like Exor, and like certain, his eyes can each cast like certain spells, like there's one specific eye that can cast that cure water, and the other one casts like, some, like that energy absorb or something. I don't know, that that would make sense to me, but I'm not a game programmer, so I don't know what makes sense to them exactly. He keeps bringing it back though, which makes me which makes me believe that it's important to him. Which, I don't know. Seems that, that I'm not I'm not really touching the right eye, or I guess the left eye. It's his left eye, not it's on the right for me though, that's kinda weird. I always get confused by that. Wallface gets whacked, so that's your name, yeah you fuck. I wonder if all three of the targets have the same name, Wallface. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I've got to time that better. Like that, that like power up attack I did. 
I gotta time that better if I want to be able to actually. Dude, I'm getting my ass handed to me here. On a silver platter. See, I already died again. All right, there we go. Uh, you ca give some. Oh, I wish I could. I wish I could cast more cure water. Crap, I suck though. I should have really prepared more for this, I guess. Bam! Oh shit! No, you don't freeze, dude. You're crazy. How much more candy do I even have? I only have one more candy. You gotta be. That's the only thing I'd love to heal too. Well, I guess these cups of wishes kind of heal, but I have to die in order for them to heal at all. Well, let me see. I think I am gonna use that on Sydney though, just because I want her to stay alive here. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter, all all things considered, but. Stop do I hate it. I hate it when he revives that freaking eye. Lead and glare. That doesn't really seem to do much. Like, every time he does that, it does, like... Like, rarely it does over 10 damage. Which is kind of amazing for... This point in the game, I guess. It seems like everything should be doing at least, like, 30 or so. Like, at least the most minimalistic ones, but that one doesn't really seem to do much. Ooh, 71 damage on that eye. Did I see that right? I don't know, it's really weird, because, like, it seems like, whenever he uses the Revive of Fire on that thing, it looks like I do, like, it gets damaged right before it comes back to life, or something. I don't know, it's really weird. Maybe it's just a trick of my eyes, maybe I'm just damaging something else there. I don't know. Well, it seems to have kind of calmed down a little bit, I don't know what's happening here. That freeze magic is still kind of kicking my ass, though. I'm kind of scared to even touch that other eye, though, because I don't know. Because didn't Exor, like, if you take up both of his eyes, doesn't he do something really bad? I don't know. I just keep going back to Exor on this, because that's just exactly what it reminds me of, except it's a wall instead of a badass sword. So I guess that's a little bit different. Okay, no, you stop that. God, I am so screwed here. I'm only doing like 20 damage at a time, too, whenever I do get that in. He hasn't done a Cure Water in a long time, though, so... Maybe that's just me getting lucky, though. Probably is the case. God, I suck at this. Maybe I should change the action grid to something more appropriate. I'm not even, I am not even—I don't even remember what I have it on right now. But changing the action grid in the middle of a boss, that's kind of lame, so I think I'll just... I won't do that. I won't make you watch through that torturousness. Uh, let me see. Can I actually... Dude, I'm trying to use an item here. Hello? Alright, thank you. Uh, I kind of just want to get rid of this barrel, because I remember someone said it was really useless, because, like... Yeah. Edge, you can wear that barrel, because you're, like, lowest on HP, I guess. Edge barreled. He barrel rolled. No. <laughs> oh, I'm so lame. Well, I don't really have m many options here anymore because I don't have any MP to really do anything with. This is going to be my last cup of wishes that I'm using here. So, now it's just a matter of seeing if I can dole enough damage to him before he does to me. Uh, I f maybe, I, maybe I am supposed to be going after the other eye, I don't know. I honestly, he's not bringing it back anymore, that's the thing. So, I don't know. Wallface gets worked! Yes, I love seeing that. Oh, I'm not even sure. I'm probably not even close to killing him, am I? No, that might kill me. I don't know how much that'll do. Oh, God, that's... Ow! Frick frack, man. Let me see if I can charge up an... Oh, never mind, I'm dead. Well, let's see if I can charge up an attack with Sydney then. Let's go. Let's go. Mm, I don't know if that hit him or not. I don't, it didn't look like it did. Oh, shit. Now Edge is dead. All right, well, it's, it's all up to you. No. Oh, well, this is going to be a train wreck, isn't it? One more of those, and I am toast. Oh, God. Okay, I, th I think this is it. Shoot. No. Man, I thought I was doing so good, too. I had... Oh, man. No train. That's so sad. God, I don't want to let it end this way, though. I feel like I could have won if I had just had, like, a little bit of MP. Oh, God, where's my last save, even? I don't know. 
the water palace. Crap, that's a little bit ways back. Well, you know what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I guess I'll just meet you back there because I'm not letting this, I'm not letting this pass. I'm not, I'm not giving up that easy. No, sorry. So let's see here. Oh god. Alright, we're back to here now. It's been a little while since... God, my recording's actually up to 35 minutes. Holy crap. Alright, before we get into this, I gotta show this off. Okay, um... So off-screen, I went and actually did a few things. As you can see here, I bought some of these fairy walnuts. Because I think these heal MP. I think I read that in the comments at some point. But the only place I could find them was from Nico. I, like, I seriously looked everywhere in like every other town I could think of. And the only one that sold them was Nico for a thousand GP each, so I could only afford two at the time. I could probably afford one more right now, but um, yeah. And also, uh, yeah, off screen, uh, Argon and Sydney both reached level 13. I think it was level 13 again, but I think that happened in the last video anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But the most important thing probably is that uh, Sydney's Undyne reached level one. The magic th thing, I think that happened in this boss battle before when I died, so I got that again. And also, Edge's gnome reached level 1. Because I was just, like, casting those spells, trying to, like... Because I figured, like, I should probably try to level up at least once. I, was, I decided to level up gnome instead of undyne for him. Because I didn't figure that they would make two bosses right in a row that would be weak to the same magic kind ty type. So if, that, if this guy's weak to magic at all, it's probably to gnome. Because that's the only other kind I have right now. Anyways, uh, you're not staring at the static ass screen. Let's get this on the. Let's get this show on the road, man. Come on, open up your old face. Yeah. Oh, let's see how. Let's see how we do here. All right. So one of my first orders of business, I think, is going to be to take out his right eye there because it seemed after that point he stopped casting his cure water spell, and I don't. I really don't want him doing that just like that. So. Yeah, hopefully. God. I don't know exactly how much those fairy walnuts restore either, though. I, had, like, didn't look it up or anything, obviously. But, uh... I hope it'll be enough. It should be enough. I only have, like, 12 MP per character anyways, so... Doesn't really matter, I guess. Alright, freeze level 3. God, that is the most painful-looking thing. How it just, like, crosses the screen. Like, when they were programmed, they had to know something about that, because that angle that those spells come in, and like, when I was casting Gem Missile, trying to level up Gnome and stuff, it's just, that angle that those projectiles come in at is so devastatingly painful looking, and I didn't expect Edge to die there. Dude, what am I doing? There we go. God. Still have all four cups of wishes. I think I used quite a few candies, though, on my way here, because I was avoiding using magic as much as possible, even though I know I have the fairy walnuts. Alright. This eye might almost be down now. It looks it keeps like trying to like fall asleep. Oh there it goes. Alright, let, let me try this now. Let's see if I can cast uh if I cast gem missile on you. Let's see what this will do. Oh nice! Oh my god, 162. Yes, that is what I'm talking about, man. Holy crap, enough of this 20 and 30 melee damage crap. 132, or what was it, 162, I don't even remember anymore, 100 and something too, oh god, okay, but just because I can deal massive amounts of damage like that anymore doesn't mean I'm invincible here, uh, certainly a lot better now, alright, yeah, gem missile level 1, as opposed to level 0, 214, man, this is gonna, this is gonna be like a cakewalk now, I don't even know, revive a fire, yeah, you gotta bring back your healing eye. I'm only guessing that, because I've... I, I don't... That's just the only pattern I really noticed when I died to him last time, is that that left eye, or right eye... It's, it's hard to define it, I guess. It's... That one just wouldn't, uh... 
if that one was dead, he wouldn't be healing. So I'm guessing that has something to do with I'm not sure, but that'll be totally lucky if I'm actually right about that. But I kind of want to see what happens if I can take out that... I'm, I'm going to see if I can... How about if I take out this other eye, though? I don't even know. Hmm. Because maybe that's the one... That should be the one casting, like, freeze and stuff, right? So if I can take that one out, then he can't really do much to me, can he? I don't know, it doesn't seem to be taking any damage anyways, though. Oh, let me see, uh... Oh, did Edge... No, Edge didn't just die. God, so stupid. Uh, I'm going to try and cast Gem Missile on the both of them, actually. I know this isn't supposed to do, like, as much damage, because the damage configuration for this is, like, weird. Or something. He didn't even cast it there. What a pain. Uh, did, oh, it didn't waste any MP, though, so that's good. Uh, oh, they're all alive again. I didn't even realize. Well, let's see about this. God, look at all those projectiles. Good lord, man. That's crazy. Alright, oh, he cast Cure Water on himself. That's not good. Must have been in the microsecond that I was alive that did it. Crap. We'll see about this. Um, I could probably cast... I'm going to cast this on the chamber's eye alone. I just want to see what happens if I can actually kill both the eyes. Like, is that like an automatic win or something for me? Um, oh, well, I got them. Sweet. Yay! And he's really not doing anything now. Wait, no. He's moving in. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, uh. Come on. I gotta keep casting these spells now. Oh god. I gotta kill him now. Otherwise, he's gonna like push me into the spikes in the back, isn't he? Shit. Oh, that's not good. This is just like the freaking like trash compactor from Star Wars. That's like one of the only scenes I've seen of that movie, actually. Alright, Edge, you take this. In the meantime, I'll try and hit him again. God, he keeps pushing me back, though, now. God, this is scary. Alright, Edge. <laughs> Edge is my only hope now. Speaking of Star Wars, now it's just a race against time. Will I be able to kill him with this magic before- Oh! I guess that's it! <laughs> you just interrupted my dramatic little saying there. Good god, this is going to be a long video. Sorry about that. But at least I beat him! Hell yeah! God, that was so scary. I was like, actually... Like, my teeth. Sometimes when I get, like, really scared, my teeth actually start to hurt. It's really weird. Got the bow's orb, sweet. Now I can upgrade the bow. And I was just scared, because that's one of the most terrifying things to me ever, is just getting crushed or like suffocated like that. That's just so ugh, perturbing. Oh, so you are the ones with the mana sword. The villagers are yours, but not these two. Wait, what? Oh no, they got away, shit. Man, we even killed that wall face. At least we killed that wall face in their honor. Till we meet again. Mwah. What an asshole. Crap. Well, did I at least fix things now? Oh my god, people are actually normal. They're not wearing the leather face mask anymore. My head feels like a ton of bricks. Huh. Oh, it's Gemma. Oh shit, I didn't even recognize him. Oh, Argon. Sorry, I was spacing out. <laughs> so that's the kind of thing you to expect him to say. Thantos is one of the best is one of their best men. He must be desperate to get mana. But why was he taking the life energy from the people here? The Empire only needs the power from the seeds, not from the people. Maybe there's something that they know that we don't? Um, curious about Thanatos. I've got a bad feeling about him. Anyway, let's get out of here. Return to Lucas Palace. I'm off to the Underground Palace. Dude, I already cleared that place out. What you? Oh, that just takes me right out. Well, that's convenient. I kind of wanted to talk to more people in there, but... I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, we got happy music here now instead of all that somber tune. Yay! Well, I guess we'll explore the happy, the happier kingdom of Pandora. God, I'm, I'm actually so ecstatic that I actually got that frickin' wall face. Man, that was a pretty... That's a, that was a great fight. That's a very innovative boss. Anyways, now that I'm done gushing over that, um... Yeah, next time we'll, I guess, head off to Lucas Palace. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night! <laughs> that was awesome. God, I'm so happy.